Welcome back to Sports Reel. With NFL games constantly being filled with contact, there are players that nearly died because of the devastating injuries on the field. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribed. We appreciate everyone watching our videos. Now for Napoleon McCollum, being a popular player for the Raiders back in the early 90s, his career ending injury came as a shock to everyone. In the early 1990s when football in America was at its peak, millions across the country tuned in every Monday night to watch the best matchups happening that week and some fans saw arguably one of the worst injuries in NFL history. Fans sat down to watch the Raiders take on the 49ers and on one Monday night they saw the Raiders running back Napoleon McCollum take the snap and run behind his lead blockers. When he was tackled, he came down the wrong way which left his left leg bent in a way that it wasn't supposed to go. Fans at the stadium couldn't imagine the severity, but fans at home who saw it up close were stunned and grossed out because the injury was so bad that he suffered a ruptured artery in his left knee, tearing three ligaments toward the calf and the hamstring off of the bone. He also suffered nerve damage in the knee. He initially thought that he'd only faced a long rehab, but McCollum's surgeon told him that there are no chances of him ever being medically cleared to play football again. Even the surgeon said that he normally didn't see leg injuries this severe other than in car accidents. He even stated that he might have to have an amputation, and because of this injury, it was better to end his career. Johnny Knox played a pivotal role in the Chicago Bears team in 2011. It was shocking to see him go down with an injury that stopped him from ever being able to play another snap. In 2011, in a late season game against the Seattle Seahawks, the Bears are backed up to their own red zone, but the score is still 0-0, and the ball is passed to Knox on a pass route, and after he caught the ball, he did some shaking on the defense before he lost control of the ball and fumbled. He went to chase after the ball, and as he was diving to the ground, he collided with Seahawks defensive end Anthony Hargrove, who also dove for the ball, and the pileup was so big, you couldn't tell an injury was at the bottom of all this. Fans watching the game live as well as many on TV were confused because even with the heart analyzation, it was very hard to tell what happened to him, but afterwards, he was stretchered off of the field in a stiff position. The replay barely shows it, but Knox was hit so hard that his back practically touched his butt, which fractured multiple vertebrae. He suffered nerve damage and had to undergo spinal fusion surgery. Now even after some rehab, the promising receiver's career was over and he retired a year later without ever playing another snap. Within days of Daryl Stingley reaching the biggest NFL contract at that time, a hit during a game would not only change his life forever, but it also changed the rules on the field forever. In a 1978 preseason game, the Patriots are squaring off against the Raiders by the league's hardest hitter at the time named Jack Tatum. As Darrell went up to the field to catch the ball, Jack Tatum laid the boom on Darrell before he even had the ball, which in football is a very illegal move, and after that hit, players could look lifeless laying on the field. After many minutes, some trainers and medical staff began attending to Stingley while his teammates were on one knee until he was placed on a stiff stretcher and taken off the field. He suffered compression of his spinal cord and broke two of his vertebrae, which was the cause of him to never be able to play another snap in the NFL. 10 years after the injury, Darrell was interviewed where he talked about the injury saying, I relived that moment over and over again. I was 26 years old at the time and I remember thinking what's going to happen to me? What am I going to be like? And then there were all those whys, whys, whys. It was only after I stopped asking why that I was able to regroup and go on with my life. Rashad Johnson went down with arguably one of the most gruesome injuries in NFL history, but thankfully at least he made it out the way he did. In a 2013 game between the Cardinals and Saints, the Cardinals safety Rashad Johnson was making a tackle on a punt where after the play he took off his glove and almost threw up when he saw his hand. In the heat of the moment, he felt like maybe he got hit and the pain would just go away in a few seconds. But when he took his glove off, he realized the whole tip of his middle finger was completely missing. He couldn't believe it when it happened. After the game, Sean had surgery to shave down the bone that was sticking out of his finger, but luckily for him, he only missed minimal time in the NFL despite such a gross injury. And on that note, that wraps up today's video on NFL players that almost died on the field. Thank you all for watching, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and drop a like.